All right. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, today we are gonna be doing our, we're gonna be taking live trades using our scalping method. If you guys want to ask questions, interrupt me anytime, please do so. This is dedicated to you guys, so you guys can ask as many questions as you want, because I want each and every one of you to make tips. So let's go. So this is, how, I'm gonna basically, everybody know it's easy to make anything from $100 to $800 scalping the market, but you need to be in and out, in and out, in and out. It's a lot of work, but trust me, it pays off. So this is the settings that I have. Uh, let me go uh, show you the indicator. This is a building indicator that I have, but if you want to go back to, uh, this is the exact same settings that I use, guys. So the settings that I have is this 84, 75, 63, 25, and 16 on the RSI. When, if you get this one, all you have to add is just the RSI into your chart and the levels, If go ahead, put the exact same levels that you have here and don't change anything by default. Uh, the MA is gonna be 13 and 26. And the parabolics that you were asking me early, uh, this is the 0.1 and leave the parabolic max as a 0 0.2. By default, it comes as 0 0.02 as 0 0.02. So just change it one and two and that's it. And then just get all the pop-up notification if you want, if you don't, it's fine, but I like it. And the colors, don't change any colors. All you gotta do is just press okay and let it go. And if you want to, go ahead and put the exact same colors that I have here, line, red, still blue, white, uh, Crimson, white, white, or either take a screenshot and that's it. But uh, anyway, when someone get this, I usually send them exactly my settings so they don't have to have anything else. But this is how I do it. Scalping the market is very easy, guys. Uh, all I pay attention is, let me bring my Epic plan. What, what are the uh, crossovers that you have there, the two uh, smooth, smooth moving averages? Does Most, that come with that setting or do, can that, I just? That comes, that comes with the indicator. The only in, thing that doesn't come with the indicator is the RSI here in the bottom. Yeah, your settings, I understand but, that, yes. But everything else is already built in. The same okay. levels are inside of the, uh, of, of the uh, indicator, except the, except the, uh, the levels. But okay. the, uh, the moving average that I have here is the 23 and 16, and those are simple. Okay. Simple. My, did I bring the epic plan? Let me see what's my epic plan. All right, this is how I do it. Look, since you're here, let me go ahead and make you a pro. And this, okay. this is what we're looking for. We're looking for the market. Uh, I don't know what sober master trend is, but let's go ahead and study this particular area here. So what we're looking for is we're looking for a retest to touch the retest. But just because it's touch, touching the retest, it doesn't mean it's letting you know it's in a buy position. But just because it touched that or either it break that, don't enter until it give you the rules. So we're waiting for rules. We want to check what uh, our parabolic is stating on the other side of the eye. So in this scenario here, market was telling you the market was in a bearish position. But if you look back up in here, market was still trending down. I mean, in a buy position, but market was still trending down. So the signal really come in in a, bay, in a late position. They come in right in the middle and here, and boom, parabolic switch place, and then market to call. Now, a lot of, a lot of you, Sir Irving, where should I ex exit the trade? You got two options. One, you can exit the trade either on the, when the parabolic switch place, or if you are trading with a master trend, just move your trend and stop. But in my opinion, remember, you stop in the market. Just grab as much as you can and then re it again. Wait for that PV to return. Once the market retraces back to bullish, put another position. Repeat that over and over and over again. Look at here. This is a perfect example. Let me make this bigger. Well, one question, Erwin. You said, because uh, I watched that, I watched the video, you explained this uh, strategy. Uh, you say that once you see the one dot on the parabolic on the four hours, you can immediately go into the five minute and enter the trade, right? Yep, that's how I do it. For instance, all right, so in here, 
All right, so we look so all we know we're gonna we're gonna do some light trading as well but i want you guys to understand the basic before we move on to reality so in here my words we have we show the market is giving you and here it told you the market was a what it was coming in a sell position right yeah because see it is it's exhausted already right so, so remember it's overbought mm -hmm. oversold i'm sorry but in here nothing was telling you to put a sell Correct. Correct. So that Correct. means you got no entry. I all go you got to do, all you have to do is practice patience. So you wait for it. Nothing happened. Look at all this movement here. Nothing happens. Nothing happened. All, all these guys were still bullish. And all suddenly, boom, market drop. And it broke your 30, your 63, which is your uh, retest level, right? It broke right. it down and said, okay, now I'm officially. But all you now, all you have to pay attention is go back up in here, and there it is. See that? I got you. I got you. So and then you saw this guy here. All you gotta do is go to your five minute, take that trade, and bingo. Where would it? Where do you think would it be your exit? My exit would be once you see the uh, parabolic on the opposite side. Yeah, that would it be right. On this candle here exactly on that four hour arrow that you see there on the uh on the uh the green arrow right or okay. or that's one way another way is uh sometimes i i just don't wait for uh for anything to give me a switch i just well, sometimes i'm so in deep in profit i just took it took the money and walk away man but but that's 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 if you're not scalping. If you if you're doing in a if you if you're doing your trades in and out in the five minute, then then you wouldn't wait for this one. You will wait for that on the five minute, right? Right. Okay. So but remember the five minute is if, if the part the, the candles will switch more quicker. See on the four hour, it takes it takes time because it's every four hours. Yeah, because in the in the five minute, all you're doing is just scalping, going in and out of the market. That's okay. if you want, right? Right. Okay. I understand that. So right now, you see here, we know the market is, is, is going down based on the four hours, but the overall here still is still in a buy position. So that means that's why the bull is still fighting back and forth. It doesn't mean that it's gonna go all the way up back to, uh, it's gonna continue bullish. So this is this is how I translate this stuff. This market is still gonna come back in here, come back, come back. And then finally, when we see the first parabolic here, then you're going down. That's that's when you go take in place, take the order the next uh, on your five minute. But like right now, this is not a good uh, trade to be in. Yeah, that's because you don't see the you're on the you're not going with the trend. You're the parabolic has some, they haven't showed up yet, right? Right. Okay. Well, let, let's do. I think AUD USD is an amazing. Oh, look at this, Mauricio. Oh no, that was I thought you saw that why that I thought was my. Uh, Parabolic. I was gonna say, oh, okay. yeah, that was perfect. Okay. But let me go ahead and bring the. Uh, see here. So all I know here, look, the master chain here is bearish. Okay. So AUD USD is doing what? What do you think is doing? It's doing right now a pullback. A pullback. Yeah, and you just got your first arrow uh, to wait for the dots right yeah and i guess on this case we will wait for the parabolics with the with that new strategy and once you see the uh the white dot on your parabolic and your parabolics jump in into the five minutes and going get into the tray right right so right now on the five minute most likely it's dropping as a cell mm -hmm. but you need to trade with rules if you just trade as a uh you know like guessing Okay. It's not, this is not gonna work. So, so, yeah. so, so you have to see the parabolic on the four minute before you jump in into the five minute before you 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 enter into a trade. You have to see the white dot on the four hour. On the four hour, yeah. I got you. Okay, and I, I understand. Because, I, 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 yeah, because right I now, understand. right now, if you go to the five minute, believe me, it's dropping already. The parabolic mm -hmm. is letting you know the market is in a cell. And don't get me wrong, the five minutes. Once the parabolics is changed there, you will make money on that drop. Look at look at what it's doing right now. You saw that uh, four hours uh, arrow on the four, uh, I mean, on the four hours. Here it is. So market is dropping, but it's not 
fully conformed yet. The market is in a, in a better position. I understand that. So by it is, there it is. Look at that. Look at the signal. This is what I was telling you. You will get more signal on any lower time frame because those are baby time frame. You knew here the market was what? Over, oversold, right? Oversold, yes. And then nothing was here. Look at this. Mm -hmm. There was no entry. Right. And then you go like, okay, I got to practice patience. But this is what people get confused, man, because I'll get a lot of text behind the scene. So, Irving, the market already retest the 63 level. What should I do? Just, I would like, send me a screenshot. And then they send me a screenshot. This, this guy's still in a buy position. Don't yeah. enter. I mean, if you're going to want to lose your money, don't do it, man. So, so, so the patient needs to wait for the for the, par, the first data of the parabolic to show on the four minutes. That's the patient that you have to wait. If That's you it. see it on the five minute or any lower time frame than that, you still have the patience to wait to the four minute to okay. see it on the four hours. That's it. That's the rule. That's the rule. Okay. I got you. Now, yes, this guy is showing you because four hours is, uh, is dropping. Right now, we got the parabolics flipping in this side because mm -hmm. we just saw one small candle dropping on the four hours. And this is the consequences here. Okay. The parabolics are correct. This is but, correct. But you still don't have confirmation on the four exactly. hours. Exactly. I got you. Now, you want to okay. change with rule or you want to do what you want to do? That's different. I got you. I understand that. Rules pay the bills. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> this scenario here, unfortunately, we don't have no trades. Okay. And I don't want to just take a trade just because. I, and, and please, one thing, Mauricio, and everyone is do not add your Tron Amazing uh, candles mm -hmm. uh, as a lime and red. You need to have your candles as a default. Okay. Red the regular line. candles. Yes, because you need to understand every single movement of the market that is performing at that present time. Okay. So there's unfortunately there's no signal here. Okay. Yes, we know this is a good one, guys. Please pay attention to this pair. AUD USD. Once the first parabolic comes, remember the market is bearish. Market okay. is bearish. Mm -hmm. This you should put it in your uh, to-do list. This is going to be a great one. And, and when, watch this. Yeah, when it's ready, it's just not there yet. But yeah, I was, I was in the trade last week on that one. Uh, and oh. I, I took about, I think it was like 40 pips on that. Uh, and I exit out. Going to sell? Out. Yes. So, but you didn't know you didn't know anything about the scalping method that, that you were on the right. No, no, I was just following the uh, the the arrows, uh, the magic arrow. Okay, so you were yeah. right. So that's good. So that's good that you got out. Mm -hmm. So that's what I. This is what I remember when uh, Francisco was the one who said, "Okay, we need to uh, to get out on the reversal here." And look, this stuff is top notch, guys. Look at how my stuff works. My stuff works even with that, my, all my indicators. Look at that. Boom, parabolic. Boom, parabolic. Boom. It, it, even, in, even in the pool box, it works. It doesn't matter what you do, man. This, yeah. the multiple time frame will give you very good uh, signals. Yeah, the thing is that you need to know how you do it. All right, let's let's keep let's keep looking because there's nothing here. Hey, Earth. Uh, all right, let's let's bring somebody else. You already mastered it, Marisha. Thank you. So, <laughs> let's bring somebody else, and you take. Yeah, I'm here, Irv. Oh, Elliot is here. Hey, right? baby, how you doing? All right, all right. Um, okay, so uh, just a couple questions. Um, so what if you don't make? What if you miss the first dot of the parabolic, and you've got like three dots? Do you? That's still an okay signal to go down to the lower time frame and wait for the parabolic to line up on the lower time frame and take a trade right yes that's that's a good question i mean because the chances of you coming to the first dot of a parabolic switch on a four hour chart it, it, it's not great yeah because you know i mean if you go back in time and you see where the dot comes in it comes in at all different times of the day and night yeah and, th and that's why that's why our group is amazing, Elliot. Our, our group sometimes send us a signal. Believe it, we don't pay for signal. We all are signal. And sometimes our own team say, okay, there's a great setup on AUD Canadian. Uh, so sometimes just by sending a screenshot, it's, it's, we're helping each other. We're here all to make money. 
But to answer your question, let's say three dots are already happy, right? So brothers and sisters is in here, so uh, that's fine. So one, two, three, so this is what, you, what you're referring to. And this right. is over here. So you miss this guy, you miss this guy. Usually this is what happens, Elliot. Just go back to any, any of your pairs that you wish. The market will always do a reversal. That's why I'm asking you to don't change it to Tron Amazing Candle. Just leave it as a default uh, line in red and that's it. So look at this, bearish and then market reverse back. So market is giving you a, an amazing position now to continue in a bearish position. And then look at that. If you would have entered in here right on the low, then you wouldn't be a negative for so many uh, couple hours. So in here, you enter in a better position. Then you go to the five minute and go with it. And you make the money. Same thing happens in here. Look at that. Boom. Went back up. This would be your third candle here. Always wait, in my opinion, wait for, for an, a, a better position. Write it down, please. Because sometimes we think we're going to remember this and then we forget. Always wait for a better entry going in, in your same direction because the market will reverse, like it or not, it has to reverse. It, most likely I will tell you to re-enter in this position here and then you make all the money back up. That is better. Okay, so you can enter if you have more parabolic dots than just one. Yes, yes you can, but uh, make sure, wait for that reversal to happen. And please, 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 always put your trailing stop. Learn from Ali. Ali always, always, he sent always a screenshot. Uh, I, I, to be honest, I, I, I never wanted to do it because sometimes people would think I'm, I'm bragging myself, but it helps. It helps not to give motivation to, to you guys. And I always take my trace and uh, in life account. And like today, I'm not making much. Because today I was having some computer issue. <laughs> I didn't scalp the market. And believe it or not, even that I didn't scalp the market, and let me see what I'm doing right now. Uh, run today I did so far only 85 bucks. Just simply because I was having some issue with the computer, trying to help you guys out and take light trades. But I'm on Euro USD right now. I did that buy position. Uh, we're gonna get to that one. But in here, we got no signal. This is way far up. So don't do anything. But look at the, look at the magic here, Elliot. Everything will tell you, market told you here, we are in a buy position. It would be up to you to say, okay, on a sell position, I'm sorry. In a sell position telling you here. But look at what Parabolic was still stating you, letting you know that we are still in a buy position. This is where you would take that trade right in here boom i don't know what the trend on this one is but always always move your trend so up okay if it's bullish then this is what you want this is the type of trace that you want this here you would get out in here and would have re-entered in here and go and the on the lower time frame in the direction of the trend now, when you, if you had multiple parabolic dots, like we're talking about, and then you drop down to the five minute, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that if the parabolic is going in the right direction on the five minute, that's probably an entry point. Yeah, if you want to match it, like you not know, in the same direction, everything to be identical, that's even better. But can but you go to gold probably now? Is it scalping? Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna do all this, guys. Anyway, this okay. class is for you guys to be Thank you. Okay. And then once I get to go, I will bring you a board, sir. But like this here, uh, Elliot, we got no uh, no signal, nothing. Let's check the next one and see, because sometimes there's no signal, guys. Signal will come up maybe on Wednesday, third uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. Not on Monday. Please don't trade on Sundays. Please don't trade on Sunday. Sunday is bad business. Uh, we're still here. Uh, oh, London just closed. So New York, we're still in the New York session. Let's see what uh, GBP Canada, GBP JPY is doing. Uh, 
so far here is letting us know the market is in a sell position. I think this here is selling for not mistake. But let, let's play, let's see if the market gave us a better entry. In here. Hopefully the system will fit. Look at look at the KB man. This is what I was having problem. KB is st still at two K. I mean at two level. I, well, I have a whole bunch of pairs open here. For now on, I think I'm gonna give the pre week three pairs. And I'm going to do a weekly analysis, only five pairs. Because anyway, it's a lot of work you can see. And I, I, I don't know if you guys are taking trades based on, on, uh, on the analysis that I do. And it, if it meets your rules, some of those are my real trade. But uh, let me know what works best for you. If you guys are making money out of that one, then I'm, I will continue what I'm doing. But something is going on here is nah cooperating yeah but uh gosh, look at this man. elliot i want to help you mo more but it does not work oh ali is here hey ali you here can you explain us about how you put your trading stop because this is what i was telling everyone that you are good to activate your trading stop like it or not or whatever pair you are and uh hi 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 and uh, how are you guys doing Good, good, good. Um, uh, uh, to be honest, and uh, personally, uh, um, uh, some of uh, the tips I would uh, I would give uh, is, uh, and uh, whenever I'm scalping, and uh, first of all, I uh, I sit down and uh, you know and monitor all the trades that I'm scalping, and uh, once I'm in profit, I either close my trade, and that's why you'll see there's a lot of uh, um. Uh, trades whereby I take small profit yep. because um, I, I, I might go, I might trade on uh, that candle a few times. So what I do is uh, I, I make sure it's, uh, if it's going with the trend, then I'll be more comfortable. And once I'm in, uh, let's say 10, 10 pips in profit, I might put a trailing stop manually and just ride the, ride the, 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 the trend and, uh, if it comes back, I'm in profit. So basically, that's my strategy. And my target areas mostly, and this is something I want to share with the group, and, uh, and that's why I'm successful in most of my scalping, is my targets are the, the main supports and resistance. Once I'm, I know they, 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 they you know, and uh, the, the candle is near the main, and you know, any support or resistance. That's my target area, and that's why most of my scalping is uh, successful. I, I, I make losses, I won't lie, but my uh, success rate is higher than my losses. Yeah. Today, 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 uh, it's been a good day. I've, I've done almost, I think, uh, 700 pounds. Uh, sorry, yeah, 700 pounds. 700 pounds. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's almost, I think, $800. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just, it's just a matter of being patient and following a few pairs and uh, always uh, and don't expose yourself. Don't, that's what I normally do. I don't expose myself. I uh, try and uh, put the training stuff. There are times where I take risks, backfires, but uh, not always. That's good, man. Thank you so much. It's that simple, guys. It's, it's, look, it's, it's, you remember, you're just copying the market. Once you know you're in profit, then let's start taking money and like and he loved to move the trailing stop as well like it or not pay attention to all the screenshot that he sent to the uh to the chat room he's always locking the price it doesn't matter if the market's going to reverse he's he's a winner trader so that's what you guys want but always go with, with the trend like in here look we just analyzed how many four pairs there's nothing on four pairs guys. that's what i'm saying we can go to the next one and hopefully we find something. Let's see. Let's go to NCD Canadian. I don't know if, if it's ready to go there. I want to take a trade and show you an real example, but there's nothing in there. This is late. This is more than three. This is what Elliot was asking earlier. In my opinion, this is way far up. If it's nothing, just be patient. Wait until that trade comes to you. So, I think, Irvin, uh, so Irvin. there's a quick just a quick one, Ivan. I think New Zealand USD is uh, is doing a pullback, and I think it's in a very good position. And it's one 
one of the trades I'm monitoring in New Zealand USD. No, I'll just do that. Guys, if you guys are, are any pair, let me know. Uh, uh, so like that, I can go ahead and, and bring it up. Uh, but let me see. Come on. Where's NCD USD? It's up there now. Well, what, where's the massive trend on that one, Ali? Oh, you, master oh, you trend is, is bullish. Okay. Yeah, but uh, and uh, this is uh, sometimes uh, and uh, I think it has uh, gone uh, and it's coming in uh, on a very strong uh, resistance. So it, it's going to do a pullback and it started already the pullback. But uh, yeah, just uh, keep an eye on it. And if you don't know how to trade a pullback, as as Ivan says, uh, you know, you, you just have to stay out of it. But pullback works if you stick to the rules. Remember, you're scalping the market. You should not be in a, in a taking that trade for a very long time because, I mean, you're going against it. Oh, look at this. Perfect example. Look at here. Look at what just activated on four hours. The indicator, uh, the scalping indicator just gave us a brand new uh, sell position. Look, this is what, this is what uh, um, Elliot just asked a couple of minutes ago. What happened? if the market is already giving us uh, you know two or three more dots this is perfect market here is giving us two arrows i mean two dots telling you the market is in a buy position so if you want to end it right now it's giving us a bearish position i would i will wait for this candle to close if it's me and then most likely it's going to put you in a better position Let's say it comes to that, that level in here, and then I would put the buy position in here, and boom, bank back up. But yes, this, like Ali said, the market here is in a buy position. So, so but we're uh, he's, four hour though. So can you drop down to the one hour so we can see it? Yes. If you like one hour, let's go to the one hour. One hour right now should be in a buy position. Based on click. Remember, you're trading this guy here. You're not trading. This is game over. Well, let me see. Come on, well, why is he not moving up? <coughs> Taking his time. Just bear with it. Hey, Mr. Yeah. Irvin. Yes, Looks sir. Looks like a better entry on that. Audi JPY has got a good sell going. Let me write it down. Because we're going to go and hold it. We're going to take as much time as you guys want. If you guys want to leave whenever, just fine. What, what's the next pair? Audi JPY has got uh, the parabolics on the four hour for a sale. Good. Let me see if this one takes us to one hour, man. For some reason. Yeah, <clears throat> fortunately, this one don't want me to go to the one hour. Gosh, this is frustrating, man. And UAD JPY. God damn. The uh, parabolic is on the five minute, but the RSI is down by the uh, um, the is retouching for a, a buy retest. It's that simple, man. You, you see, like you see the class, the first training that I did with Mauricio. That was it, man. You, all you got to do is repeat that 20 hundred times. Over and over and over and over and over again until don't 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 give up. Things, all these all these rules, they will come to you when they are ready. If they're not ready, just don't do anything. Don't chase the market. Come on, man! I just want the one hour to change. It took me to thirty minutes. Uh, let's check the thirty minute here. Remember, we're in a buy position here. Look at this move from here. This is the, this is the first one. Boom. Oh, actually, it's here. Look at how many dots are on here on the thirty minute. A whole rack of it. So, 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 is that is it too late on this chart then on this actual thirty minute one? I don't think so. You're going with a, a buy position right now. It's giving you a better position. Look, market just dropped. So this move, huge movement here, market is dropping right now. On the five minute, the parabolics are in the wrong, 
in the wrong place. I, just just in case you're wondering. Yeah, because of this. Because They're still up there. Yeah, they haven't flipped yet. They haven't flipped yet. Still but they will soon because you've got a red bar. It's good. You know, market is going down right now. And at a certain point, the, the, that parabolic is going to flip and then you can take your buy. Because the RSI is also touching, has, has just touched the, uh, the retest buy level on my chart. All right, let's let's go in there. So right now it's touching that. It's, it says coming down based on based on this. So it's gonna give you a better entry. But overall here, yes, market is going by. That's why uh, Ali was in a is in a buy position here. Look now, you got two options. If you would be in a nice in, in, in a profit here, and you feel comfortable with whatever you you have here, just walk away. Simply because you're copying the market. You're not here to see the market to be in a long term for a uh, an buy position. Or take some or either put your training stop and let the market do whatever it wants to do. But at least it will not take you out and uh, in negative because your goal is not to hit the negative club. But like, well, Irvin, yes, it's uh, it's MJ man. Hey. Um, have you done have you done silver already? Because I'm late on the. Yes, with this silver. There's nothing on silver. All right, okay. Yeah, I just remove it. There's nothing in there. That uh, the analysis that I gave you, yes, it's going with the analysis, but if you have to scalp the market, there's nothing in there. So this is we just doing for scalping the market, but it, it was nothing in there. Come All on. Right. It's not moving. This stuff is this stuff is the KB is super low, man. Yeah, guys, but uh, I don't know. I wish I could do more, but uh, the chart is not cooperating. And I think we're gonna have to do this uh, tomorrow as well. Just go. Let's go and take our time and train you exactly. If we has if we find set uh, set up that we can take trades as an example, sure. I don't mind, but if there is no signals in there letting you not to take the trade, it makes no sense to take that trade and be a negative. Because that's when that's when the, that's what it's all about for us. Take the trade only when it's available. If it's not, it's not. All right, let's check. This is what Elliot said on the five minute. He said that our parabolics are on the other side. They are dropping. They are dropping because the four hours is letting us know the market is, is doing a small PE. But overall here, we are in a buy position. Look at that buy position, still trending up. So this is what I would do. You see here right now, it's coming exactly, it's getting tired. It came, pay attention to this one. Elio gave us the answer of this one already. So it came here, retest our 36 buy position. But nothing is ready letting us know if you wanna go, because Elio said that he wants to go in favor of whatever the four hours is doing. So just wait for this one to be over. Once it's over and the first parabolic pop up in this location here, boom, just go with it. Why are you going in the same direction of the larger time frame? But right now it's going up TV. Most likely this will reverse back down. Now come back up and then finally it's gonna give you the first uh, parabolic and then you move on. But there's nothing in there yet. But this is a good pair. Say so it's bouncing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That makes sense? Uh, yes. Good. Let's do gold. So, so, so Irvin, with this strategy, what we're doing is we're analyzing on the four and we're entering on the five. Correct. That's it. Okay. Gotcha. Four, five. That's all I'm doing. Ah, look at look at what Go is doing. We know Go is in a sell position, but I don't like that. Right now, it's doing a PV. Oh, look at that! It's going with the trend now. But it, 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 I would have wait. I would have wait. I, this huge uh, uh, week here scared me. It's a huge. It may may continue. Uh, right now, it's letting us know the market is is, is going and. and uh, against the trend, but there's no dots in here. I will wait, there's nothing in there, it's too late. This is not a perfect time to take a trade. 
So far, we haven't found anything to stop the market. Oh, let me show you. I'm, I was on Euro USD. I made only 80 bucks, 85 bucks. I could have made more, but <laughs> I was trying to connect with you all morning. I told you I was in a buy here. Look at here. Why I'm in a buy? You see, and then now you know. Look, I saw this guy here, and I said, let me jump in. Boom. I think I, I think I got it somewhere in here and get back in. But my remember that Euro USD is in a sell position. This is what I'm expecting to see on the market. I'm expecting the market to drop. Guys, once this guy is over and you get most likely the first parabolic is gonna happen on this week here. This is gonna be your signal. You're gonna get it in here. Oh my god, when that one come in, it's game over, man. Came over. It's gonna be in a sell position. And most likely it's gonna be like this beautiful drop here. Boom. It's gonna happen most likely like that. But say well. I like I'm waiting on this one to be in a long term in a sell position, but right now it's doing a PV. Yes, you could do make money out of PV and sell back down. Another another pair that I took is your GBP. Let me go to that. Oh gosh. Who else? Uh, who's in a trade right now? The, either if you are uh, winning or losing, it's fine. So we can analyze if you are doing wrong. Look at what this one guy is doing. This guy is in a buy position. But remember, overall here is sell. It's just not ready. This is another one that you can put in your to-do list. Once this guy flip and give us a signal here, oh gosh, you, yes, it will drop most likely and come and reach at this level here. It will be a nice drop. There will be money on the bank. But it may it may be ready by probably tomorrow or or uh, or Thursday. But here, look, this is what I, I mentioned a couple of weeks back. When you see uh, the parabolic tight end, that means the, the pullback is not that strong. But when you see spaces between each and uh, of the parabolic, that means the drop is gonna be longer. Look at what happened. Space it and boom, market drop. So this is this is what I'm expecting on this one. First, it's gonna be very tight, and then it's gonna start giving you a space, and then you pop in. But first one it comes in on Euro GBP and Euro USD, and which one is the other one? And AUD USD, I'm going in. I'm letting you know in advance. When is that gonna happen? I don't know. Nobody knows in this business. No one can tell you exactly when it's gonna happen. But when whenever I get the signal on my phone, I'm in. All right, let's see USD peso. Uh I leave out this pair here. Uh, let's let's see it at four hours. Ah. Uh -huh. Look at that. USD peso is in a sell position. Look, it's dropping. So this is what I was saying early. Most likely the market is always gonna do that small PB here. Wait, most likely this is what I got. It, always pay attention guys. The candles always can attach your uh, 13 and your 26 uh, moving average. Those can act as a support and resisting as well. If they respect your 13, it's going to come to your 26. And then from there, market will reverse. Look at what's happening here. It retested your uh, 13, and boom, market drop. Look at this buy position in here. Uh, it came in all the way up to the 13, and the market dropped back down. And then, oh, here it gave us, finally, in here it gave us the buy position. And then it took off. It did respect that uh, 26, but we were in a buy position. Now, what happened in here? Market it, it broke down on to the uh, as a sell position. Market most likely is going to come back and retest your 23, I mean 13 uh, MA, and from there, market will continue bearish because uh, US peso is, is selling, it's not in a buy position. But this is a good one. This is what Elliot asked early this morning, Irving, what happened if the market is already three 
three par uh, parabolics already down. So this is what I always want. I always want this guy to be game over. Once this is really done, it market will give you a better entry. I would love to enter in this position here and a little bit if the market reaches 13 in May, I take that position in there. I'm going in favor of this guy. So my winning ratio will be bad. I will win. But yes, this is a good one. Now, let's let's take let's take this as an example. Let's go to the finance and let's put it, let's put a trade on this one. Let's see what the five minute. I don't know what five minute. If the five minute, most likely five minute is dropping, it's in a sell position. Let's see. Oh no, it's still in a buy position. So you got two options here. Wait for the five minutes to go in your favor, and then pop in. Or you can pop in right now, and you're gonna be in few pips negative and then you will make money down. But if you want to be more conservative, just wait for the first parabolic in your direction and go in. Because you already know the market is selling. Four hours is letting you know the market is in a sell position. Another, another thing that I do too is I pull a sell limit. I like, I love to right click on it and pull a sell limit. Let's put $1 here and put it in there to this high here. So if the mark, most likely it's gonna come back here, boom, we'll activate that one and boom, I'm on the money. That's one thing. If I wanna put two positions, then I put another one on the next level here and then wait for it. But this is a good one. USD peso is going on your favor. So overall here, you are selling. Look at that, selling. That's so far, that's the only one that I find. I uh, forgot that bit. Uh, I think he said AUD JPY. Uh, there was another pair in there, but uh, in the direction of the trend. Who's trading that is a negative right now? So we can go back to that pair and, and, and help you out. It's okay. Remember, nobody is going to. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm in a pair. Uh, it's KP. I'm in the NVD USD and I'm down 10 cents. Well, that's not doing it. Hey. <laughs> what you in? Hey. Sell or buy? Oh yeah, I'm going I'm in a uh I'm in a buy position on that. Okay. Uh let, let, let's analyze this pay here. I forgot I forgot the first person they asked for, and then we go to AUD and C D. Uh, I think he said he was in a buy position. So we know, yeah, this is in a buy position. All right, so let's go ahead and bring the template. He's right. Look at how you guys become a beast, man. This is, a lot of you get confused on this uh, master trend here. Uh, it's not clean, man. No, the market is selling. Who was the person that asked about uh, AUD JPY? Because I think you are wrong. I think you said the market was in a buy position, but no, market is selling. I don't see any. I don't see no buy position. Sure, you could have had any of this. No, I said sell. So. That was you. Yeah. What were you? What were you doing on this one? The sell. Oh, sell? Yes, so so that's good. So if you're in a sell, this one, this is a good entry here. Perfect. Five minutes though, the yes. RSI is at the retest for a buy. Yes, uh, and a buy, yes. Uh, but this is a good one to be in a sell position because the market puts you in a better position. So what's the five minutes saying? Yeah, let me check. Yeah, market, uh, five minutes selling. Real time and selling. I'm gonna jump in on that one. Yeah. Don't go heavy. This one is good. Let's put a dollar here. This one will put you in the money in no time because the market is selling. Pay attention to that. 
Remember, we're going again in the direction of the trend. What's the spread? Spread is one, one pick. I want to put you in positive, in spite of it. Back and forth, back and forth. All right, let's come back to this one and let's open up the next one. Uh, is AUD and CD. What were you doing, NCD, USD? I forgot. Yeah, that was it. He said he was in a buy. Oh, buy, buy, okay. Oh. Now, I didn't, do, I didn't do a buy based on the fact that I thought it was hitting uh, previous level of four-hour resistance, but of course I could be wrong. Well, let's do it together. That's what we're here for. Which pair is this? I can't see you. Uh, AUD and CD. Oh, AUD and CD. I'm not in that one. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm thinking NZD USD. I'm sorry. I was commenting on NZD USD. Yeah, that's the one that I'm in. NZD USD. And you are in a buy on that one, right? Yeah, I'm just waiting for it to go into the in the same direction. Okay. Let's bear with it. KB is getting better, but still slow, man. You know, I was actually in a buy too. I got a few pips, but then I jumped out because I, I saw that uh, previous resistance level. That's good. Right when I looked left. That's all what's copying. It's all about. Get right. some and walk away. You're not there to marry it up here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, even a lead confirming, there's another bees, man. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Ah, he's right. He's right. Uh, Who, who's right? Uh, whoever it was in a, uh, whoever said about AUD and CD that is in a bad position. Yeah, he's oh, right. Oh, okay. So, yeah, there's nothing wrong. He, did, he got it right. Look, he got it perfectly, man. I don't know where he ended exactly. But he got he got a, a signal here letting know, letting him know the market was gonna go in a buy position. It was mm -hmm. not ready yet. I don't know how far or where or when did he enter. Probably he entered somewhere in here. because uh, today is only Monday. Uh, and then maybe he makes some pips out of if he's still on that pair, he's he's winning. He's still on, on, on the money. But uh, remember this is a PV. So I would take my money and walk away. Whatever profit he has, that's, that's all it is. Because your job is to make at least anything $100 to $800 a day. And in and out, in and out, in and out. But it, this pays better than any full-time job, guys. <laughs> it does, man. It's a proven system, man. So, so Irvin, uh, being that it's hitting a previous level of uh, resistance on the full hour, uh, when, when I look left, um, and in fact, that's the reason I got out of the, of the buy. Yeah, that's good. You did great. That's it. I, I'm, I'm happy with what you just said or not. This is a very nice level to get out. Because you're going against. And look, the thing in, in this area here, uh, market is bouncing. It's, it, it seems like you cannot... Uh, let me make a box in there. It seems like the market cannot break this box here. It's going from that area, bouncing, boom, 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 mm -hmm. boom, 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 boom. So you are right. You make the right decision. If you get out, nothing wrong with it. Maybe scalp it on the way down when the parabolic dots line up. Yeah, but the, the market is bearish. See that drop there? Right. The it's bearish. If the parabola is coming on the other side of the aisle, oh. you, you so far, so far, this guy is giving you a hint. It's letting you know the market is in yeah, a yeah. position. Can ride it for a while down. Yes. So now, down. yeah, now if it, if the parabolic go on the other side, I mean that's what you want. You're gonna go in the long term, but the, uh, you're gonna start seeing more money in the easy on the easy run on, on the five minute. But right now, it's still in a, in the buy position. AJ is already in profit. <laughs> I didn't know you took that position. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it, pays to so show up on the it pays to show up on the Zooms. <laughs> now, look at this. And you are too fit. Remember, that's 20 bucks already in there. So, uh, 
Oh, I forgot, to, I forgot to put the trailing stop. So this is what you do, right? So always put your trailing stop, right? All right, so 30, 40, 50, that's, that's 60 pips in there. So now, now that you, now that you're in profit, you secure yourself in there. This is what Ali does. Look, this is what Ali does. So in there, I'm securing myself $11.48, right? Mm -hmm. I said, and then you let that bad boy do whatever he wants to do. If it take you out, I don't care. I don't care anymore. It will take you out. Let's go to the five, to the four hours. Look, it's going on your favor. Eleven dollars, man. You collect eleven dollars ten times. That's hundred bucks. Hundred what? Hundred and twenty bucks. Mm -hmm. That's a day full time, man. That's it. That's right. What was the other pair that we took? I forgot. I think it was the U.S. peso. Ah. Right, right. But I don't know how to read this. This, I think, is four pips. Uh, sell limit. Oh, it already activated a sell limit. All right, so this is good. Oh, perfect. It perfect. already activated. So first order is in. But uh, this is what I was saying early. Most likely, it's going to come back and retest this uh, 13 level. And there, and boom. All we know, we're in a sell. This is where patient comes. I'm, Sometimes, unfortunately, you have to be in a, in a negative. Market will not put you in, in, in profit right away. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, the example that we have here, AUD, look, it took you out 11 bucks. There was no hard work in there. 11, pay you 11 bucks. Now, you would have taken that $20, and it would have been better off. But you don't. <laughs> you collect your money over and over, and then you send a screenshot to the chat room. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, well, that was good. Man. I, I, I'm glad you did that. That's Mike? Yes. Oh, that's good, Mike. So let's go to the five minutes. Sometimes when it takes me out, since I know I'm going with the trend, I just like to find an, a, a better position, collect another 11, 12 bucks. Yeah, even even if you put another pair here, another tray here. And let's give it another few more minutes. Boom, and we'll put you back in the money again. Because you're going against with the trend. Look, market is selling. Based on all the rules that we know, market is selling. It just took you out, but in a guarantee pips. Uh, what other pairs you guys want me to analyze? Uh, Eric says to look for USD peso. Uh, let's see what Eric has to say here. I think we did that. I don't think there's nothing on the call. There was nothing when we check on USD peso. Oh, no, no, he said NCD Canadian. All right. NCD Canadian. Did I have it here? I don't have it. Okay, let me go ahead and bring it up. Uh, he's in a bear, NCD Canadian bearish. Uh, I don't know what time frame he in it. Here. <laughs> Make money while you while you get trained. That's awesome. But there was no there was no entry, guys. Today Monday is is weird. Are you gonna start seeing a lot of more movement maybe tomorrow and Wednesday? But so far today, it's nothing on it. Not much. I didn't make much today. Today was only 85 bucks. I, I swear that I would have made at least 200, 300 bucks. But I'd be fighting all morning trying to give you the class ever. Let's see. What Hi, Irving. It's Justin. That brings up a good point. Is there a uh, better time to trade when things are moving uh, than it is later today? It's, it's all about funding set up, man. To be honest, it's all about funding setup. The only thing that I can tell you is don't don't trade uh, early uh, New Year session. Uh, wait at least till nine or nine thirty. That's why I I try to arrange the class to start at ten, but everything didn't work out except the same way that I wanted it because of the broker issue. But it's all about setup. Once you have that setup that it meets your criteria, then just go with it. 
That's all it is. Sometimes I, 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 I try the Sydney session. I go to sleep. When I wake up in the morning, London is all good. Sydney will put me in negative, but I don't get scared because I, tr I trust what I'm doing. And then when I wake up in the morning, boom, I'm in, I'm in positive already. That's why sometimes, guys, I send you those screenshots at 6.30 in the morning when I'm waking up because I close them right away. I close them and I go, okay, 100 bucks, first 100 bucks of the day or first 80 bucks or whatever, or 200. But that was overnight sleeping. But in here, this is, this is what, um, uh, what's his name, Eric? Eric says, Eric, this is not a cell. Still in a by procession. Look, Eric. Uh, it's, get, it's getting ready for a drop, but it's not just there yet. Look at here. Market here tell you market was getting ready for a sell. Sure. But nothing here. So market still bullish. Still bullish, still bullish, still bullish, still bullish. Then it flipped. If you say if you were based on this one here, it should have got up. But now Mark is still in a buy position based on the parabolic. There's no signal in here yet letting you know that market is gonna be in a, it's just going sideways based in here, but there's no drop yet. This this maybe you're getting confused with this. That's here. This is the daily time frame, but that's not what you want. Yes, if you want to go between. This is a good area, guys. Always pay attention of the system. When the system give you four hours daily and weekly, that's a very strong area. Very, very strong support and resistant area. The market will drop. But if you're looking for a sell and he need to hold on, this is a good sell that it's gonna be. But wait, wait for the rules. Now you got a, a nice set, a set up in here to be in a sell position. Wait for the first dot pop in, but this is to go. Uh, if I take this trade here, I will get out maybe on Friday. This is a good one. Now let's check with the four hours. Four hours still in a buy position. I mean, uh, five minutes. Let me see what he said. He said bearish waiting on four hour PSR. Okay, that's good. Eric. So if you just waiting standing by, nothing wrong with that. But yes, look at the five minutes. Five minutes dropping. All right. So, but this is since it's dropping and it's not ready in the four hours, market will reverse back with testing your 13 or either your 26. It's going to give you a better entry. And once the four hours pop in, the first dot here, oh, then you pop in. That's how I do my analysis. Because I know market will reverse back. But this I'm sorry, Irvin. Didn't mean to cut you off. Sorry. You're fine. Can you repeat what you just said? Because you, you were saying it's not ready yet because uh, the five minute has to come in. I mean, yeah, five minute is dropping already. It's dropping, but the four hour you said didn't come the in. Four so. hours still in a bad position. Right. Right. So, so this is what this is what is going to happen since the five minutes already dropping. Uh, this guy is going to reverse back. It's going to attach the 13 MA or either the 26, and then basically you get in a better position now. You don't wanna be in a cell here because there's nothing confirming on the four hours. Once it comes to this level here, on the four hours, you're gonna get the first dot. Then you got you got a better position to go with the trend. All you gotta do next is go with it. But this trade here is gonna be nice because four hours daily and weekly is very strong, letting you know the market is getting ready for a drop. Look at what the monthly is. Monthly is really letting you know when I sell position. So everything is telling you it's in a sell. This here that uh, Eric just found here is a great pair. Hey, Irv. Yes, sir. Could you go back to the four hour on that currency pair for a second and uh, zoom out? Sure. Because this is something that comes up for me that's, that I have a question about for the master trend. Um, it's on my chart, which is Trader's Way, I have the line, I have the master trend as bullish, even though there's blue up uh, up top, but it's not the arrows aren't aligned on my chart. Yeah, it's still bullish. It is still bullish. Yeah, but 
But pay attention to this. This is a good question that you ask. Look, four hours daily and weekly is popping in. So if we do have a monthly that is not lined up on the four hour, I mean, on, on, on this frame here, that is still bullish. It's just not lining up. So what is going to happen in December, uh, Elliot, is this blue line here will match up this area here. So what Eric just found is, is, a, is an amazing one. So now, we look, all these three time frames are already letting you know that we're selling, getting ready for the sell. So it's, it's, it's getting ready. But now in December, most likely this will uh, switch place to a better position. For this one is, I don't like it. It's not, it's not going in the, uh, in the same levels. But it, it, it reacts, it's in a sell. But that's why the market's still popping up. If you don't know, if you trade without rules, yeah, you would think you're in a long-term sell, but it's just not fully ready yet. In my opinion, the market's still in a buy position. That's why we see this huge movement here. Pay attention to these parabolics in here. They open it up. Let's look at here. Perfect. They tied up. Super tight. So the market don't have no more strength to go bullish. This guy already told you. But this one, Elliot, this is a good one. Um, it's going to be ready next month. But yes, once, in my opinion, wait for the first parabolic. You will make money in this drop. December, all next year, we're looking for a sell position. But this is good. This is good. You know, I'm going to analyze this one next time. Dude. This is going to be good for the world. So, what are the pair, guys? We did a lot today. How, how long have we trained? Uh, one hour and 20 minutes. But we found only two trades. Well, uh, let me check that trade that I took early. I think I forgot to activate. I think it was AUD, JPY. Still minus three pairs. Let's be patient. Let's put 100 bucks in here. And this is a long stop loss, 30, 40 pips. Put it here, that's 20 pips. Uh, 70 pips, 70 pips, fine. And what about USD Peso? Look at that, guys. You tell me, is the rule works or not? Look, proven system. Uh, Volta. Who was the guy that asked me to do the class? Justin. Look at that, Justin. We're in the money. Elliot, look at that. Parabolic is going in your favor. This is exactly what I told you. Once you're going to find a better position, look, I don't know how to read this 114. I think it's only 12 pips. So that's over $100 in there. Same over. Just waiting for that five minute to pop in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you're going in the same direction. So, on this part, I mean, okay, you sell it. Remember, uh, US Peso sell it. This is what Ali does. Oh, so Irvin, so basically, if the pairs, if the overall trend is uh, bullish and it's it, the, the actual price action is going bullish, you don't have, I don't have to wait for the five minute. To I mean, uh, confirm with the four hour? It's up to you if you want to do it. I just did it because I took the trade because this reversal here was putting me in a better position. Right, right. That's that's all I did. This is this is what Elliot asked early when we started this flat. What if if the trade already has three dots or, or more? Mm -hmm. That I'm I, basically he needs the drop, right? So market has to do a small reversal. This is what uh, all the competitors, they usually pull support and resistance on miners. I don't care about miners, but miners work. So, so yes, miner will come in. I just look only for major support and resistance. So this is major to me. So right now it will come back exactly what it did right there and then boom, market will drop. Look, that's 190 bucks in there, man. Easy. And no time. Hey, 
the uh, the 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 four uh, on the one on the excuse me on the five minute for NZD USD, uh, the parabolic dot is now there, and I'm in profit on that one. Oh, you in buy? Yeah, I'm in buy. Okay, this guy. Man. Okay, okay. Oh, it's not Mike. I bet it was Mike. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't Mike. No, it wasn't Mike. <laughs> I, I, wish was, hey, hey, I wish it was Mike. I wish it was Mike. Ah, let's check. Let's check what KP says. Yeah, NZD USD. You can. Oh, NZD can, USD. Okay. Two. <laughs> NZD. Oh, I don't have it in here. I think I remove it. NZD USD. Yeah, I thought I had it in here. All right, let me bring it up. Yeah, EU is going up too. So yeah. Oh. Uh, U.S. dollars week. That's good, man. I, I you see, you guys, you guys are good, man. This this is a good training. I, I, we gotta give a shout out to uh, I think it was Justin, who was the one who asked for this, man. But I already proved you two pairs in there. Ah, look at that. Look at this guy. Okay, that's four hours. So so the master trend the master trend is bullish, right? Uh, I don't know. I know. Yes. Yes. Why? Why do you say that? Well, because, well, it's definitely not bearish because this, they're all not connected right there. Mm -hmm. Plus I don't see, I don't see the white, the white dots, um, connecting with the four hours and daily. Good, man. Good. All right. So you're right. Uh, let's go to the family and let's see. So you should be a money and the money. Easily, I and mean, we already saw it. So, ah, ha, ha. look at that, guys! Which pair? Boom! <laughs> look at that! It came in retested. Your what? Your buy entry, and boom! What's that? Look, I got in a tad bit too early, but you know, it still it, it still came back up. So, yeah, this is this is what gonna happen. I say if if you have to get out, just get out in this level here. As soon as you start making like 10 pips, secure at least two, three pips. I don't know what was the last side that you got in. Or if you feel comfortable with seven, 10 bucks that you're already profiting in, just take it out. I don't like bullish, but yes, you can be in a bullish position. But don't be for a long term. I really don't be in a sell position. But that's good, man. All right, who else? I'm waiting for this guy, man. This is my guy that I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting for this one to be in a cell. What is that? Euro USD? Yep, Euro USD. Once this one give me a cell dot, guys, I'm in. My next one is the uh, US peso, which I already proved it to you. Look, now it's, uh, I don't know how to read this. I think it's 27, but it says 276. I don't know how to read this, but that's 200 bucks in there. Uh, what's the other one that we took? That This pair is good. Uh, uh, AUD, USD. I think I remove it. Uh, this one, you and profit. I think, what was the other pair that I took? Uh, gosh. Is it AJ? Uh, maybe. I don't know. All right, so we did, we did three trays. Okay, this one is negative six. It's okay. It will come back. This is five minutes. Sometimes, sometimes you have to be a negative. No choice. But everything is letting me know market is in a sell position. Look, I just put my stop loss on the four hours. That's 34 pips in there. But that's it. Which other one? Let me see what Eric has to say. Okay, Eric, Eric, you are right. Uh, let me see what Justin said here so far. So the parabolic is not confirming as well. Okay, uh, oh, I don't know which bear it was. All right, so, oh, Sarah, I uh, forgot. I forgot about you. Uh, what was the uh, pair that you asked? Yes, gold. Gold, uh, we already did, there's nothing in there. I know. I just came out. Okay. Okay. That's good. So don't even try, okay? 
it's not oh, that no. okay. I will. Remember, market is selling, so I will sell, but yeah, I, it is selling. Yeah, it's too late. I know, yeah. So, nothing there. Thank you. No problem. Uh, let's take the uh, somebody new, uh, Francis. Let me let me pick you. If not, let's pick Justin ready. Participate. Key. What about key? Anyone that don't, they're still uh, confused. Lorena, we got Lorena. Mauricio already, already got it. Steven, Benjamin. Uh, I think that's it. If you guys don't want to participate, <clears throat> then that was a good hour and a half of training, guys. Um, you guys want me to put it in, uh, make a video out of this one, or, or are you guys good to go? Hey, Vic, yeah, is it? Okay, sounds good. And you do JPY, change the position. And you do JPY. Still selling. I know, but I don't know. Oh, you're checking the five minute, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, the yeah, five minute is, remember, you're going to get a lot of, a lot. We don't trade, but five, one minute, five minute, uh, 50 minute, 30 minute, one hour is, is tiny. I'm gonna make a video on that one next in, in, in a couple of weeks. Is not to trade, uh, how to avoid losing uh, trading the lower time frame. Because that will make you, it's, it's bad for business. So right? here, market is selling. There's a lot, I, I know uh, all the traders, they love to tell me, Irving, uh, uh, five, five minutes, 50 minutes, and 30 minutes telling me the market is in a sell. But if you really pay attention to the larger time frame, uh, let's say four hours and daily is telling you that it is in a buy, and then all suddenly market boom continue back up, they will get they will lose it straight. It's simply because you're going against what everybody's doing. So don't do that. So I'm gonna make a video of that one, probably like five, ten minutes. But uh, I think this class helps a lot, man. All right, guys, so that's all. Um, that's all I have. I don't know if any other new question uh, wants to, uh, you want to bring it in. But uh, that's all I have. That's all I have. So thank you again for coming in. <clears throat> Fernando was here. Uh, Fernando, you got any question, Fernando? No, thank you. No, thank you, Irving. Great class. Yeah, that's good. That's good, Fernando. Nice to hear you anyway. <laughs> All right, guys. So thank, thank you again. You. Thank you again. Thank you for very much. And thank I, you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So I will see you back tomorrow. And let's keep this active behind scene. And those that don't have the uh, arrows, please uh, send me a message behind scene. And I will handle it. All right, guys. Take care. Thank you. Bye.